Welcome to the race 6 of the Mountain Dew Cup Series. We have 32 cars lined up today to see who takes the win. Let's look at your track today. It starts off by going down the orange ramp and will approach the intersection where we see a ton of crashes. It will then continue and go through the corner and will approach the finish line. In your first group, it's going to be Austin Sendrick, Denny Hamlin, Chris Busher, and Daniel Suarez. They're side by side, coming to off the ramp. Sindrick is going to edge up to the lead. Hamlin is going to get the run out of the corner. It's very close at the line. It looks like Sindrick barely got over Denny Hamlin. This time it's going to be Hamlin with the lead over Sindrick. Going to the corner, Sindrick takes it back, but Hamlin gets the run out of the corner. And at the line, it's super close. It looks like they said that Denny Hamlin has won the race. Let's just check to make sure. And yes, Denny Hamlin has won this race. He will advance to the next round. In the second group, it's Harrison Burton, Kevin Harvick, Todd Gillen, and Chase Briscoe. It's Harvick with the lead. Harrison Burton is way off the pace. As Kevin Harvick, this may be the easiest win of his Mountain Dew Cup Series career. As Harrison Burton is just holding up Todd Gillen. Now it's SHR teammates side by side. In the corner, it looks like Harvick is going to take the lead. He's going to run away with it as he's going to spin across the line to win the second race. He will advance as Burton DNFs. In the third group, it's Eric Jones, Kurt Busch, Noah Gregson, and William Byron. Kurt Busch has the lead as he's going to get turned, but he's just going to throw it in reverse, and he's going to reverse it across the line. He will win the first race over William Byron. Now this time, they're side by side coming off the ramp, Byron enters out to the lead, he's trying to hold off Kurt Busch, he's going to do just that, he puts him in the wall, as William Byron will win and he will advance. In the fourth group, it's Corey LaJoy, Joey Lugano, Chase Elliott, and Justin Haley. It's going to be LaJoy with the lead, as he's going to a big push from Chase Elliott from behind him and Corey LaJoy will get the easy win as Logano is going to barely get second over Chase Elliott. Now it's LaJoy with the lead. Oh, he goes hard in the wall. He's up and over and on top of Joy Logano. We have a battle for the lead, though, as Chase Elliott now goes off track. Joy Logano, is he going to make it to the line? No, he will not. So no one will make it to the line, and they will all DNF. The first time in Mountain Dew Cup Series history that no one has made it to the line. Here's a look at the replay as... LaJoy just deflected off of Joe Logano going in the wall. He just pirouettes on his nose right in front of Joe Logano. He is out of the track. No one from this race will receive points. In the next group, it's Martin Truex Jr., Ryan Blaney, Brad Kozlowski, and Ty Dillon. They're side by side, and Truex is going to take the huge lead, and Truex is going to get the easy win as Blaine will come second. It's going to be Truex with the lead once again. He's trying to hold off Ryan Blaney. He's going to get a huge push from Brad Kostolowski, and Martin Truex Jr. wins a second race. He will advance. Up next, it's going to be Christopher Bell, Alex Bowman, Cole Custer, and Kyle Busch. Bowman with the lead. Oh, and he goes in the wall. That's actually Christopher Bell that went in the wall. He's able to continue, though, as Bowman will get the win. Kyle Busch will come right behind him in second. Now it's Busch with the lead this time. He's trying to hold off Alex Bowman. Coming on the corner there, side by side, as Kyle Busch is going to take it, and he will advance to the second round. In the next group, it's Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Tyler Reddick, Bubba Wallace, and Austin Dillon. It's going to be Stenhouse Jr. with the lead. And he still has the lead as he's going to cut off Tyler Reddick and he will slide across the line to win the first race. This time in the second race, it's a little bit closer. Stenhouse is still going to have the lead though. As now Bo Walsh trying to get the second position over Tyler Reddick. Stenhouse will win and Reddick will come second. In the final group, it's Eric Amarola, Ross Trastain, Kyle Larson, and Michael McDowell. It's going to be Trastain with the lead. As he's trying to hold off Eric Amarola, he's going to do just that. He clears them, and he will win the first race. 
as McDowell gets second and Larson DNFs. This does not do him any good in the point standings. He's going to be right on the cutoff. But once again in the second race, Trastain has the lead. Trying to hold off McDowell. He's going to do just that. He clears him. And Chastain will get the easy win. And he will advance to the next round. Now we're going to take all the winners from the races and put them in one big race. The leader on the third lap will win. It's going to be William Byron with the lead over Kyle Busch. He goes in the wall a little bit. That actually gave him an advantage though. As Byron will win and Harvick will march his way up to second. Byron with a commanding lead once again. As behind him Chastain gets second over Kevin Harvick. Byron will win as Chastain barely gets second position over Kevin Harvick. But on the final lap, can William Byron hold off the field? He has the lead going in the corner. Here comes Kevin Harvick. He's trying to turn him. It's not going to be enough though as Byron gets his second win of the season. The first multi-time winner in the Mountain Dew Cup Series. Congrats to William Byron on his second win of the season. Here are the driver points after race 6. Byron has taken a huge lead. Chastain had a good race too though. He is closing on him. Here are the account points. The bathroom sink had a huge lead. But Wandering Drew Adventures had a great race today. And he is right up there with him. Here are the second part of the account points. These guys better sign up for some races or else they're not going to be able to compete for a championship. 